begin this Friday night with that violent home invasion, a father tied up and beaten during a robbery. The terrified family telling us that five armed men and broke down the front door just to get inside. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer joining us live now in West Houston with why the family believes they were targeted. Jen? Well, this family does own a business and the robbers were clearly looking for cash. They held a gun to the husband's head. They even tried to cut off one of his fingers with a pair of scissors. This assault lasted for nearly 30 minutes. Five armed men broke down the front door of this home, went inside and ransacked every room, but not before hog tying the homeowner who was asleep on this sofa. And they hog tied him and drug him around the home and beat him with a gun. This is the man's wife who asked us not to identify her because the robbers haven't been caught. She and her children were not at home when the break in happened. They had just left. I think they had been scoping us out and they scoped the place out. She tells Channel 2 the police believe they were targeted because her husband owns a business. The robbers were looking for cash. They went through every room, every single drawer. Um, they even went through my washer and dryer. They looked in the air conditioning vents too. The armed robbers were inside for about 30 minutes. They got away with thousands in cash, lots of jewelry and expensive handbags. But this wife realizes it could have been a lot worse. He's just grateful to be alive. Now, there is surveillance video and images of all of these robbers, but HPD has them and says they are unable to release them until at least next week. In the meantime, the family tells us they were driving a silver Toyota SUV. There were five men. Uh, one man stayed in the car. He was the driver, so there were six total. They all spoke Spanish, and they had their faces covered. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.